Hi everyone. Now today I'm here with Dr. Stuart Gillespie, who is the co-founder of Functional Health Solutions with Dr. Perry Nicholson, and they travel around the world teaching what people can do to look after their immune system. So at a time like this, um, Dr. Stuart's been very um, gracious with his time to ask him really what can we do at this current time to, I guess, look after our immune system, Stuart, and thanks so much for joining us. Angie, thanks for having me on board. Great to see you again. Okay, so today we're going to talk about immune systems, right? Mm. And so and we, oh, we hear about vitamin C and one's buying vitamin C off the shelves, right? Because it's a great immune booster. Um, it kind of depends on what type of immune system that you have. And right? so we always think there's just one immune system and then we're just going to boost it, right? But it actually depends what type of immune system you have. And everyone has different types. We're finding this out nowadays where we didn't know this five years ago, right? So some people have a very much a catabolic type of immune system, which is what you want to drive in order to break down virus. Right? Your immune system is better than any supplement. Your immune system is better than any drug out there to kill off viruses, right? So we're all reaching for the anti-cyclovirus, we're all reaching for the antivirals and the, the best supplement you can do. Actually, your immune system is your best possible. That's right? the immune system. One helps you break down virus, which is what you want, right? The other system is a very allergic type of immune system. But under stress, you might get allergies. That's not very good at killing off viruses, gives you allergies, but it's not great. So you might be stuck in that allergic type of immune system. There's another type of immune system that actually suppresses both those sides of the immune system. So you get a very much a regulatory or suppressive type of immune system, right? So you really want to drive everything towards this virus killing immune system. The best thing that can do that is actually vitamin C. Yes, it is. Vitamin C is a great thing for driving that cat catabolic immune system, but it doesn't actually kill the virus. Right, so everyone thinks that vitamin C is going to kill my virus. Let's in intervene as, as much as I possibly can, right? But it's only there to drive your system and then your immune system, your natural killer cells, your interfering gamma, which are catabolic type of immune cells, are driven by vitamin C. But vitamin C is not the actual killer, right? Mm. So, I guess what can we um, so vitamin C is something good we can do. So, what else can we do to, yeah. I guess you know, like kill off yeah, any viruses for people. Yeah, for sure. Be careful of the vitamin C as well, all right? Mm -hmm. So there's different types of vitamin Cs out there. There's calcium, mm -hmm. there's sodium, there's, uh, there's magnesium. So which vitamin C is best? Mm -hmm. If you're going to megadose, and you megadose when you actually have a virus, when you actually are sick in very acute situations, that's what you want to do. You want to megadose, all right? And mm -hmm. so we, we tell people to do megadosing for viruses. It's what we used to do in the past. We used to intravenously drop in 50,000 milligrams of vitamin C to kill off viruses in the past, right? So why not mm -hmm. do it now? And they're doing it in China right now, actually, um, to kill off this coronavirus, right? So, mm -hmm. so you want, um, if you're going to make a dose, you want uh, sodium or magnesium vitamin C. You do not mm -hmm. want calcium because that does gather in the joints. It does cause oxalates. It does cause calcium stones, gallbladder, mm -hmm. kidney stones, bladder stones, that kind of thing. So if you're going to make a dose, avoid calcium, all right? Other things that you need, all right? So you, what do viruses do? How do they get into your cells? What they do is they break down collagen. They secrete these enzymes that break down collagen in order to get through your body because they attach to the outside of your body and then they get through the body into your cells. And so collagen is a great way to counteract that, counteract the, the catabolic nature of viruses. So collagen mm -hmm. would be a good thing to do as well. Mm -hmm. right? um, Fulvic humic minerals are what's called binders. So examples of binders are activated charcoal or, mm -hmm. or clays are another uh, example as well. Fulvic humic minerals are very sticky, like Velcro. And mm -hmm. so they attach to viruses before the virus has a chance to attach to your cells. All right? So mm -hmm. that's another way of doing it is by doing fulvic humic minerals. It's also great to give you minerals. The body is, is susceptible to viruses in, under very nutrient depleted conditions. So low magnesium, low zinc, low glutathione, all right? And so fulvic humic minerals has the ability to give you these, uh, is to fill up the body with all these great nutrients, which mm. help you, you know, uh, to ward off these viruses, all right? Mm. Um, another great thing is called monoloric acid. Monoloic acid has been shown to kill off multiple viruses, Epstein-Barr virus, CMV, cytomegaloviruses, herpes viruses, all the whole range of viruses. And monoloric acid, you actually get from coconut oil. 
right? But you can actually get monolauric acid as a supplement as well. Um, but either of those things, you've heard about oil pulling these days where you sort mm. of put uh, uh, coconut oil into the mouth and you sort of clean up your sort of uh, bacteria and viruses in the mouth by using monolauric or coconut oil in the mouth and just doing some oil pulling. And mm. so you can actually sort of infuse some essential oils into coconut oil and rub it onto the body. And, and that's a great way to kill off viruses. Um, and that's something you'd suggest for people everyone could do now, like even if they don't necessarily have the coronavirus, but it's something we could do now as a protection as well for people. Is that correct? The... Yeah, absolutely. So, so uh, ingesting coconut oil would be a good thing or put it onto the skin, using it as a moisturizer. And you can actually infuse it with the biggest and best possible antiviral killer out there, mm. which is why plants don't get cancer. This is why plants don't get viruses. All right, essential oils, which are basically what we get from plants, are the biggest viral killer out there, right? So what, mm -hmm. what do viruses want to do? They want to get inside your cell and they want to replicate. They want to reproduce themselves. Mm -hmm. They use this by using an enzyme called DNA polymerase is how they replicate. The mm -hmm. only thing in nature that's been found to actually block DNA polymerase is essential oils. You can read about it. Don't just take it my word for it. It's on the web been well researched by the National Institute of Health, all these great sort of government bodies have researched essential oils and found that the only thing that inhibits viruses, the only thing that inhibits the actual DNA polymerase, only thing that gets into the cell and kills off viruses are essential oils. Any essential oil will do. Lavender, oregano, thyme, bees, great antiviral oils. And awesome. a really good thing to have as, as part of your uh, arsenal mm. of things. So essential oils, coconut oil, um, fulvic minerals and yep. collagen are sort of collagen. the key things. Yep. Yeah, exactly. And vitamin C even because vitamin C yeah. helps collagen production. And, uh, and, so, and so this is uh, this is great for that as well. The last thing, the last thing I'm going to talk about is actually what's called proteolytic enzyme. Mm -hmm. There's something in Europe called proteolytic enzyme therapy, right? Which is something that we use. You mega dose proteolytic enzymes to actually break down viruses, break down mm -hmm. bacteria, because they are little pieces of proteins, are viruses, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And they have these little things. These corona is named after a crown. And so these have these little cr protein spikes, which are called crowns, on the, uh, on the end of these sort of little proteins. And so they use those crowns to actually attach themselves to your cells, right? Mm -hmm. So proteolytic enzymes actually breaks, down, breaks these protein spikes down. And so these mm -hmm. viruses have an inability to attach themselves to cells because you're taking the proteolytic enzymes, break, uh, which is basically an enzyme that breaks down protein in order mm -hmm. to sort of do that. So I would add that into your sort of arsenal as well. Into the regime as well. And do you have, um, is that something you guys have available for people to get some of those products? I can send people to there or? Yeah, absolutely. So the company Functional Health Solutions or mm -hmm. FHS is a company mm -hmm. that, that Dr. Perry and I sort of formed as well, uh, Dr. Perry Nicholson. And uh, we actually have those products. So we actually have liquid collagen with some full vitamin min minerals and vitamin mm -hmm. C in the same products, right? We also have some proteolytic enzymes and we have some full vitamin min minerals. And so I would do that as a, like an antiviral package because you get all three of those things as your sort of biggest and best thing to sort of ward off virus plus your essential oils, of course. Awesome. Thank you so much. Well, I'll make sure I send everyone to that link. And then I guess it's just looking after ourselves, managing stress, keeping positive, getting out in the sunlight, exercising, all those yeah. lifestyle factors as well. Exactly. So sunlight, great for that. I mean, we get full vitamin minerals from grounding. So we talk about grounding these days. You walk with barefoot on the ground. Well, I did a post about grounding yesterday. <laughs> fantastic. So we're on the same page. But you actually absorb full vitamin minerals through your feet by awesome. putting them on the ground, from the earth, that. from the sand, from the mm. oceans is where mm -hmm. you get your full vitamin minerals. So you yeah. absorb it through the skin. You can also take it as a supplement or just eat dirt. Pick your nose. Eat dirt. Yeah. Eat something like that. Something like that will work. Yes, <laughs> well, that's yeah. so wonderful. Thanks so much. I really appreciate your time. I just really wanted to share some things that people could be proactively um, mm. doing. And these guys are actually coming to this side of the world in um, October, going to be in New Zealand and Brisbane. So mm. I'll put links to those details as well. So for people that want to learn more in this space, this is just mm. a tiny taster of the, all the gems um, Stuart and Dr. Perry have as well. So pretty cool.